Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Akmal bin Ismail Matrix number 071113 Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Ahmad Dumambi Ahmad Nazari And my matrix number is 071600 We are from Diploma in Nursing Science And from Faculty of Medicine Today we will be talking about one of Nasim Adaman Which is Iman and Akhlaq Our title is about the relation between Iman and Akhla and how either one of that can affect the others. So now we will be interviewing some of our friends. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This is our first interview with our interviewee. We have we have to do this online on call because our interview we have a lot of class and assignment to do okay so for the first question my question is what the relation between iman and akhlaq and before you answer this question can you introduce yourself my name is Muhammad Naim Muhammad Arif I am currently studying at Uniza and my age is the relation between iman and akhlaq is both iman and akhlaq complement each other one can achieve either perfect iman or perfect akhlaq but must achieve two of that This is because a Muslim only will achieve the perfection of Iman when he or she have the grabs the best akhlaq. You have a really good. Thank you for answering the first question. You have a really good point right at there. So let me ask you a second question. My question, my question is how can it affect the others? As I've said earlier, Iman and akhlaq complete each other. When someone shows a bad moral, it means his or her iman towards Allah aren't strong and not perfect, and the otherwise. So either faith or moral have a profound effect on each other. I hope this answers your question. Okay Naim, thank you for your cooperation. With so, us. Uh, I hope we will see you soon and good luck for your study. Bye bye. So this is our second interviewee. Can you introduce yourself first? Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Mithra Mikael bin Abdul Rauf. Okay. Okay, so the question that we want to ask you is the first one. Which one should we achieve first? Either Iman or Akhlaq? Oh, okay. <clears throat> Before I answer you about the question, I will tell both of you about the hadith about Iman and Akhlaq. From Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The perfect faith Iman of Muslim is they who have the best character as you guys can understand from the hadith Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that someone must have the best moral akhlaq to gain perfect faith iman am i answering your question yes okay alhamdulillah okay so the second question how so i will ask you a second question Uh, my question is how people back then at Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam time keep their iman and akhlaq. Okay, people back then at the era of Prophet Muhammad can keep their iman strong and shows the best the best akhlaq, and not because of fear of Allah subhanahu wa taala. You guys must be wondering why I say that, right? Yeah. Fear of Allah is important, but the most important thing is the feeling of love and grateful. Toward Allah in a Muslim heart, that is how they keep their iman and akhlak strong. Oh, okay. you really have a good point there. Okay, thank you. So that's all from us. Okay. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Matoi wakatu. Okay. So, in my conclusion, iman and akhlak is the most important thing in our life because without iman and akhlak, we cannot. We can do our task daily, so that's why iman and akhlaq is the most important thing. You have a great uh, conclusion there, but I have my opinion too. So in my opinion, the conclusion is you must achieve akhlaq first, because without akhlaq, you can have a great iman or a perfect iman. So that's all from us. This is our end of vlog. So that's all from me, Muhammad Akman. And that's all from me, Ahmad Numan, Ahmad Nazari. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam.